Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, starting off with the 144,000, which will be the ruling governing body in the kingdom of heaven, which is uh, going to be all men, 144,000, it won't include no women. But you have the arrest elect outside of the 144,000, which would be some men that would be the believers. You got women and children that would be saved inside as well. That would be believers. Um, also want to say the Israelites are you call today, so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalan, the Panamanians. Those are the Israelites always have been and always will be. Contrary to the popular belief that we are not Israelites. Um, this is your brother Jeremiah coming back at you with another video. Um, as y'all can see, um, the article says, Compassion is making a comeback in America. That is a damn lie. That's a lie. You know, that's a lie, man. There ain't no compassion coming back in this place, man. You know, this place never had compassion, especially for Israel. You know, our people. You know, that ain't, that ain't coming back, man. The scriptures tell you, you know, first and foremost, let me get that in Luke 12 and uh, I'm already on it. It tells you many different scriptures that the Lord is coming to divide, right? Or, yeah, divide. Or, you know, Luke 12 and 51, it says, Suppose ye that I'm coming to give peace on earth, I tell you, neighbor, other division, right? You know? This country is more divided than it has ever been. So, these devils, boy, they, they really are, <laughs> you know, liars, man. You know, these Edomites, you know. This is new, as y'all can see. It was only a couple days ago that this article came out. This, this devil got some nerve to say some shit like that. But, you know, we, we shouldn't be surprised, man. We, we gonna expect you to be a devil. You ain't gonna tell you, the, you know, you ain't gonna tell the truth about what's really going on. You know? The scriptures say in the book of uh, Psalms, what's that? Psalms 58 and 3, right? Psalms 58 and 3. And it reads, it says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. You see that? So as soon as these devils are born, man, they, they speak lies. They they tell, you know, uh, false, you know, ideologies, beliefs. They That's their poison that they spread, you know, across the world, across the nations, you know. That's how these eating minds get down, you know. And um, I, I just wanted to say, you know, man, you know, the average Edomite, they know that this place is not looking too good, man. You know, people were talking about it. People, people struggling to live right now. This devil got the nerve to talk about, oh, you know, compassion is coming. Man, it ain't coming back, man. You know, it never was there, you know, especially, like I said, towards the Israelites, us. So that's a damn lie, you know. That's a lie. It's only going to get worse and worse and worse as the days go by and as we get close and close to the MOTB being implemented. And as far as, you know, Jacob's trouble popping off, you know, there used to be a time to where people would, you know, I would hear, I always hear older people talk about it, how when they would grow up, you know what I'm saying? I'm a young Jake. I will hear older people talking about like when they were younger, you know, how people knew their neighbors names and, you know, how they you know, would basically treat each other like family, even though they're not related and they live next to each other because they all grew up on the same block. I would hear people talk like that, but we don't live in that time period no more. You know, I didn't grow up like that. You know what I'm saying? To where your neighbors and all, I'm talking about before I was the truth, you know, should I say, where your neighbors and all that, you buddy buddy with them, you know, you super cool with them. You know, they know your kids, you know their kids, you know all their family. We don't live in the world like that, man. You know, and like I said, this place was never for us to begin with. If you're an Israelite, and these Edomites are divided amongst themselves, these you know, which Edomites are you so called white people? Y'all divided amongst yourself, whether whether and it's your political system, you know, the, the job system, whatever, whatever system you got. So, you know, this devil, like I said, he ain't gonna tell the truth about any damn thing. You know, if he tell the truth, he gonna throw a lot of lies in there before he spread a, a, some type of truth. You know, he, he's going to make it sound convincing, you know, but I just had to do a video on this, man. I, I just seen this and I was like, man, yeah, this, 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 uh, this place is, uh, they're divided, you know, the average person, they don't want to help, you know, 
the next person. That that's not how people think nowadays. You know? If anything, they they watch you know over their shoulder or they uh watch it behind their back. You know? The scripture saying it was at uh Mark three and twenty-five. Um let me get that. Right? It says, and if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. Right? You got these devils voting on, you know, social media platforms being taken down, like uh, TikTok, you know, which, you know, it's going to happen to all of them, but that's not what this video is about. It's another topic for another day. Um, and you just got, you got these, you got these Edomites, they, you know, you, you got the new thing to where you can identify as whatever the fuck you want and out. You are divided, man. Ain't no compassion coming back, man. You know, the scriptures tell you the different traits and characteristics that people are going to have in these last days. And I'm going to go to it. That's in uh, 2 Timothy, right? Because this is the spirit that's in the air. You know, it's not it's not a, a spirit of love, peace, and happiness. That's not that's not the world we're living in right now. And it's going to continually to, you know, get, get away from that because it wasn't built upon that. It's in 2 Timothy 2 and verse 3. Uh, oh, it's so, like so, 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 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, it says, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, meaning dangerous times. And I ain't no damn compassion, ain't no love and peace coming. For men should be lovers of their own selves, right? Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, right? Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. And that's the... That's the uh, nature of damn near everybody, man. <laughs> you know, if you ain't in this truth, you have all these different traits, man. You're, you're proud, you're boasters. You know, you don't give a damn about nobody about yourself. You don't care about, you know, your about or shy. You know what I'm saying? That's the mindset of these people, man. They may say they, they do, but they don't, you know. Uh, as the famous scripture goes, it says, um, what does it say? With their mouths, they do honor me, but their lips are far from me, you know. Because you, you, you hear a lot of people say, oh, I believe in, you know, God, you know, I, I I trust in God, but they actually show something completely else. So, you know, we know for damn sure this place is not, people, uh, compassion is not coming back. It's not a big thing in America. It never was, it never was, you know. That's the false sense of security that these people want to have, you know, or put upon the minds of the people to make them not, you know, um, rise up, you know. But it's going to happen regardless of what this devil wants, you know. Whatever plan this devil wants to happen, most of the time it ain't going to happen, you know. Um, the scriptures say, what's that, Isaiah 55. Whatever the Lord wants to happen, that's going to happen. And, and his determination, like he said in the book of uh, Zephaniah, is to, to, to gather the nations, you know. And I know this is talking about, the article is talking about America, but the Lord is going to divide this man's kingdom wherever he's at, man. But his main hub is America, but... You got Esau, they ruling the whole earth right now, you know? That's Isaiah 55, verse 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. You see that? So, you know, the, 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 this narrative that this devil's trying to push on this article, that's not that's not true, <laughs> you know? And like I said, that's why we can't, we, we can't uh, look for this devil for advice. You know, direction, guidance, you know, that's that's why the Lord brings you into this truth is to not trust into this man. Because before you in this truth, you trust in this man. You believe everything he pushes when it comes to the school system on the you know, news, which you're in the radio, you believe all of it, you know. And when you come into this truth, you, you you're born again, man. You know, you become like a little child, you gotta, you know, get fed, you know, start with the milk, you know, and then you work your way up to the meat, get the harder, you know, things, you know. This devil, man, all he does is, you know, teach lies and tell lies. And that's what he's going continue to continue to continually do until the Lord take him out. You know? Um, I'm going to get that scripture in uh, Isaiah. Oh, no, Jeremiah. I think it's Jeremiah 51 and what I'm thinking about. Um, or Jeremiah 50. Where is that? Salakia. Yes, yeah, Jeremiah 51, verse 7 says, Babylon, which is talking about America, had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, right? Off of their philosophies, their ideologies, all these different nations. 
they follow the ways of America. The nations have drunk, drunk over wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon has suddenly fallen and destroyed, right? How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, right, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. And that's what this that's what this devil is saying, you know, that this place is gonna get better. It ain't gonna get better, man. It's gonna get worse. <laughs> you know, and these elites of Esau Edom are doing that. They just, just whoever made this damn article is fucking the delusional. <laughs> the Lord put a he put a, a great spell upon them to believe that, you know. Because you may have some people believe that, or that's that is what people believe, you know, should I say. These people don't truly believe that the end is gonna come, and they don't believe that World War Three is gonna kick off because they don't want it to happen, so they they they're gonna believe, you know, what their feelings tell them. But your feelings ain't right most of the time. That's why the scriptures tell you to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. But you know, the average person is not gonna get that. They're not gonna understand that. So regardless of how obviously bad things may seem, then they're just not gonna cleave to you know what's right, you know. So I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but this this article is you know very deceiving. <laughs> You know, not to us, but, you know, just in general, because that's that's not happening. That's going to be the complete opposite, man. You know, what does it say in Second Edges, right? Second Edges, chapter 15 and verse, let me see. I'm in the wrong chapter, Second Edges 15. In verse 14, it says, Woe to the world, and to them at the world therein, for the sword... The destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. You see that? They don't sound like compassion. They don't sound like love. They don't sound like unity. People fighting against each other, killing each other, and trying to kill each other. That's the complete opposite. So this, we believe what the Lord says, man. It says, for there shall be sedition among men. And this devil just had a whole movie come out called Civil War. He's, he's telling you what's about to happen. It's in the movie theaters right now. I went to go see it a week ago. You know? So that's not the spirit that's in the air. <laughs> the spirit of, that's in the air is war. And the scriptures tell you that it's, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's a time and place for everything, war, peace, you know, love, time to pluck up a kingdom, a time to, you know, put set up a kingdom. And we in a time to where this kingdom is getting plucked up. And that, they, they These Edomites, they had their time. That was their, go, that was their golden cup. You know? This America has had this time, and now it's it's the end of America, man. So, like I said, this article is it's very, like I said, it's deceiving to the average mind, to to the ignorant mind, you know. But if you have the understanding of what's going on, man, especially these scriptures, the Holy Spirit, you're not gonna be deceived by this shit, man, you know. But the average person will be, you know. But it says, verse sixteen, it says, "For there shall be sedition among men." And invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and their course or their actions shall stand in their power. Um, I'm gonna skip down to verse 19. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right? So, all that's coming, man. You know, this is not making a comeback, it never was. You know, the scriptures also say, uh, I think it's in Revelations, or it might be another book where it says, Dust will violence show that great city Babylon, you know, basically go down. I'm paraphrasing, because it wasn't set up by peace and love. So how is it making a comeback if it never was? Set up, set up upon that, you know? That's the damn lie, you know? So, um, like I said, I'm going to close out. I don't want this video to be too long, man. You know, this devil's going to always make it seem like, you know, things is, you know, good, even when they're clearly not. You know, and that's just his MO, man. The devil, uh, what it say in 2 Corinthians, the devil has even transformed himself as an angel of light. And that's what he's doing with this article. You know, he's making everything seem, seem all peachy, peachy and dandy, but it's, the, it's damn thorns and bushes. <laughs> you know, that's what it really is. You know, so with that, I'm going to close out, man. You know, I hope this video is edifying to the elect. You know, we get up out of here soon, man. You know, uh, your brothers keep pushing, keep making videos, keep going out there in the highways and byways. And 